G'day guys and welcome to Medieval Mayhem. On this channel you'll find lots of videos into the whole medieval period. You'll find reviews into other people's gear, you'll find crafting videos into costuming, you'll find DIY videos into furniture, and you'll find analysis into historical events, who are the main characters and why do things turn out the way that they did. So if medieval is your thing, you might want to consider subscribing. Today's video we're going to have a look at the cold steel waster or training sword. Um, it's difficult to find uh, another option for something like this. This is a, um, a polypropylene, uh, so it's a type of plastic, and it is a training sword. So i found, and a lot of my friends have found, that training with metal weapons tends to lead to injuries uh, if you're not careful and you're not uh, training properly. Uh, I'm a spent 14 years of my life in the military, in the army, and uh, therefore I train as I do fight. So I tend to train in gambeson and riveted chainmail. Um, and I find that obviously provides a decent level of protection, but it's very easy during training for things to get a little bit out of control, for someone to hit a bit harder than they expected, or for emotions to get a bit carried away, and, and people do get injured and hurt. So uh, I wanted to get a couple of training swords, and these are the ones I found. So let's take a bit of a look at these. Um, they're about 30 ounces, which is just under one kilogram. The blade is 32 and a quarter inches, which is around about 82 centimeters long, with the total length of nearly 40 inches, which is a meter long. The point of balance is around about 20 centimeters from the cross guard. So uh, around about there. So the proportions are a bit different and it's a little bit harder to train with because the point of balance is off. That's not a massive deal. I do like the way that it's shaped um, and it's, it, it's designed as a training sword. So it's designed to help you um, develop your muscles. You can see the fuller is, is not really as far back as it would do in real life in a, in a genuine sort of metal sword. And um, it does require a little bit of construction. You have to put the cross guard on and then there's this rubber, rubber grommet which goes on top to help keep the cross guard in place. Uh, the rest of it is simple, single piece um, blow moulding, I think, um, which is, is fantastic construction from Cold Steel. These retail for around about $40 US, uh, which is around about $60 plus delivery uh, in Australia. That is a fantastic price, and if you're getting into medieval reenactment, purchase one of these. Uh, these are really good. Thoroughly, thoroughly recommend this. 10 out of 10. I find this a really good sword to train with. Um, it, it does require probably a bit more muscle use than um, a, a metal sword, I find, which is great because it does um, give you those extra muscles. And if you're doing a, um, you know, a medieval event, then I tend to find you you're out in the field for a few hours, and that's fine. Um, so uh, I find it's really, really fantastic to use. Uh, um, dull edge you're not really going to hurt people with this but you can break stuff this is you know obviously from blunt force trauma so if you go really go in for a hard strike at someone uh, you, you are going to hurt someone so I do recommend wearing proper protective gear helmets and chainmail and that kind of thing uh, or at least gambesons uh, otherwise you're going to end up as I say hurting people uh, or hurting yourself you can sharpen this down if you really wanted to. I seriously don't recommend it. Um, it's, it's just not, uh, you know, that's what a metal sword is there for, I think. But uh, my, my belief is, is these are a fantastic investment. Uh, really good, really solid. Um, and I've known people who've purchased theirs years ago and they're still being used today. As long as you look after it, you don't smash it around, it's going to last. Um, really good construction, um, really good solid plastic. I really like this um, and it's, it's something that I think I'm going to get a lot of value out of. Probably the most valuable item really that I've um, purchased in terms of weapons because I'm going to be training with this pretty much every day. I think, um, and I find it's a, just such a great weapon to use. So there we go, um, 10 out of 10, thoroughly recommend it. Please like, subscribe and share, and I'll catch you in my next video.